This is One on One. We're joined uh, by John R. Latka, Senior Vice President, Electric and Gas Operations. You heard of this company, PSCNG. Good to see you. Thanks for inviting me, Steve. Let's talk uh, not just energy. Let's talk. People don't talk infrastructure, but it's important, especially after Hurricane Sandy. Why was Sandy a game changer in the infrastructure world? So let me let me just give you a little bit of background about uh, you know storms and, and, and you know what we've experienced over the last couple of years. Since 2011, PSEG experienced some of the most destru destructive storms in its history. Um, you know, Sandy being the, being the one that changed the game completely. Uh, two million customers out of service. Um, you know, half of those customers, almost half of those customers, were affected by the flooding of the stations. We had a four to eight foot surge. Uh, that came through the stations and affected the equipment, obviously flooded the equipment. So w with that, um, the improvement, in inf we saw the, the keys moving forward was the improvement in the infrastructure. Let's define, we're using the word infrastructure. Right. Like our executive producer happens to live in the Hoboken area, and she was affected differently than a lot of the rest of us because her infrastructure is like mass transit. Her infrastructure is the streets that are flooded and you can't get through them. But that's different than the Jersey Shore. My point is, infrastructure is different to different people. What does that mean? So, so in the case of PSCNG, we're talking about the transmission infrastructure, the, the stuff that feeds from other parts of the state. We're talking about the distribution infrastructure, gas and electric, that actually feed the local homes, feed the substations to the local homes. The sub, what's a substation? So a substation is no different than uh, the breaker panel at your house, right? The breaker okay. panel at your house feeds all the different rooms. I think I know where that is. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I know where it is. <laughs> so, so it feeds all the different rooms in your house, right? The yeah. kitchen, the bathrooms. And, and those breakers basically do the same thing in a substation. So that's a substation? That's a substation. So what goes on in that substation that if that has a flood, there's a problem? So in the, in the case of Sandy, uh, the flood was four to eight feet high. It got into the equipment, basically waterlogged the equipment. The only way you can restore that station is to go back in there, dry everything out, and basically clean all the equipment back up before you can actually energize it. Wow. And now, is that part of like, drying it out, cleaning out, all that, is that part of, John, the so-called Energy Strong program? That, that is exactly what Energy Strong is all about. Energy That's PSE&G's Energy Strong Energy program. Energy Strong program. Energy Strong program. It, it really entails taking 29 of those substations that were affected by the floods, Raising or relocating them, right? Or eliminating them why, completely. Why? Raising them because potential flooding. Raising, right. Relocating, why? Just to, just to actually take them out of the floodplain. Take them out. But, oh, are you saying that with all these storms, but the, the big one, the game changer being Sandy, teaching us, hey, they're not supposed to be there in the first place? They, they obviously, for 75 years, they've had no problem. But now we Sand, know how bad Sandy it could be. Sandy knows there could be an issue, right? So we move them. We, we eliminate them, and we actually move the load to another area, to another substation. What does it do for the consumers? The consumer actually, you know, during the next storm, that flooding will not be, you know, it will not happen in that station. They'll be above the floodplain. Uh, you know, we're going FEMA plus one in most of our stations. i got to ask you something. For, for, for you and your colleagues, I don't want to go backwards, but, you know, as we do this program, we're going to the summer of 2015. What was it like for you, Sandy? Oh, Sandy, Sandy was uh, a, a long two weeks. It was a long two weeks. It, it, you know, the, the stress on, on the families at home, obviously, you know, there were a lot of uh, employees that didn't have, you know, places to go. You know, their, their, their homes were flooded. Uh, we, we certainly had issues with, you know, just getting to and from work. Yeah. Fuel became an issue, right? We, we had just places to stay. There were no hotels left in, in right. New Jersey. So, so it, it, it's a hardship for everyone. So, you know, you come in every day. You know, we had Hurricane Irene, right? Hurricane Irene. We thought that was bad. We thought that was bad. That was one week, right? One week. So after a week uh, of Sandy, yeah. we thought, all right, we still have a million customers out. Nah, so this that was, was really, Irene. In fact, when we had Ralph LaRosa, uh, your colleague at PSCNG, one of the things he talked a lot about that I want you to talk about is trying to improve customer communication. Right. That's been a big thing at your company. Your social media operation, Facebook and Twitter, has really expanded dramatically. Why? I, I think it's the push that we've made in, in, since Sandy, right, since, uh, since Irene. We have made um, you know, some significant improvements in that area. Basically, Facebook and, and even Twitter has actually exploded. If you look at our Twitter accounts right now, there are about 90,000 uh, Twitter accounts. 
and, and really. How are you using it? Because our producers were just saying as we got in here, hey, because I said, well, you know, what do you call, what do you do? A lot of them were saying they got information about what was going on and where they were in terms of service with you guys from following Twitter. Right. Like you were actually communicating who had service and where, like town by town. Right, and, and, and then at some time, there, there were points where customers were telling us, oh, our lights are back on, and we, we actually knew it faster from Twitter sometimes because the, you know, the folks in the field weren't you know, communicating right away, and, and, and the customer would tell you, oh, the lights just came back on, great, yay, PSE and J. Does it change the entire, does the way, the way people communicate today via social media, has it changed communication forever? And by the way, what about people who are not on social media? There's a whole generation of people who are not sitting there going, hey, Instagram, uh, Facebook, Twitter, they're not thinking that way. So what about them? All right, so, so you know, we, we offer a couple of different avenues, right? So you, you have the cell phone, you have text messaging, you can certainly choose that. You can certainly use just to get a plain old telephone call, right, at your house, and, and you know you can certainly uh, communicate with us like that. So we offer a couple of different options. We offer the internet now. We just upgraded our um, our outage maps last year, so you can go online, you go into the internet, and you can look at some more detailed information about the outages. Yeah, let's talk about kids for a second. Uh, the other thing I learned uh, over this past year is your company has also collaborated with the Children's Television Network. We're very close to them as well, the, P the folks at PSG hooked up with Sesame Street folks. Uh, I know that, that, is that that's not Elmo, is it? That's is it? Elmo. That is Elmo? Okay. Yeah, it is Elmo. It's Elmo. Because actually there's a, there's a spot, a PSA spot, on it. we're running on our partners uh, with NJTV on the news with Ralph Rosa, talking about safe, talk, talk about that readiness in case of an emergency with, with Ralph and Elmo talking to kids and parents about readiness. There it is, let's get ready. Talk about that. This is a, just a great program, a great app for, for parents that they can use to, to teach their kids how to prepare for emergencies. You know, it, it lets them go in and, and show the kids about, um, you know, their phone numbers, their names, you know, where they live, and, and lets them be prepared for the emergencies that we're gonna have. And Sesame Street is a great partner Sesame to do Street's anything a with. great partner. Uh, give me 30 seconds on summer months. Summer months coming. Uh, maintenance is all done. We've uh, been patrolling with our helicopters. We're doing hotspot infrared inspections. Uh, so we've just got a lot of good stuff going on. July uh, and August, but people, they, they're thinking, okay, other things could happen um, in terms of outages. They still stay in touch with you guys in terms of finding out what? July and August just become uh, the summer months of, of more communication with our customers. And stay on that website, PSENG.com or something? PSENG.com. Listen, John Latka who is Senior Vice President, Electric and Gas Operations, PSCNG. Uh, not a lot of pressure. <laughs> not a lot. <laughs> Appreciate it. A lot of pressure, and uh, we're all counting on it. Thanks so much, John. Appreciate it. Thanks, Steve. Stay right Thanks, there, man. man. Uh, one on one, we'll be right back right after this. One on one with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by the New Jersey Education Association, Bloomfield College, Qualcare Inc., New Jersey Sharing Network, the Russell Berry Foundation, Choose New Jersey, and by Verizon Communications. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.